We've reported a lot recently about alligator sightings. Well, there was another one today, and people in this neighborhood say it happens all too often. Photographer Adam Kopis has the story. We found the alligator right closer to the air conditioner area. He, he appeared to look like he was about six or seven feet long. His chest was wider than mine. The neighbor around the corner had a, uh, about a six, seven foot alligator. She texted immediately. She said that there's a alligator in my backyard right now. The alligator was laying literally underneath the, the footing of the truck right here. And um, the guy that lives here uh, came out and he saw the alligator. I'm a city boy and not a country boy. So to see something like that in real life and close up is very scary. Through the water being high between this area and um, Jazzland, there's about 50 foot setback that the water is high. It's been high, it's been high for months. And uh, that's when the different wildlife come out of the water. Before the storm, there was a pump that actually pumped the water out of the neighborhood and out of the canal. But now, since uh, Katrina, which is 15 years ago, when the water is high, then you see wildlife. The more rain we get, the more sighting of gators that we see. So therefore, uh, the more help we need right away. I'd like to see the board that is over Jazzland to come and try to um, hire someone that, that deals with wildlife on a permanent basis that they might be able to have accessibility that when there is a problem that we can have some immediate results. And I realize that we're in their domain, but at the same time, to try to coexist. Okay, that's a little terrifying. It is. <laughs>